The Day is Done by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. The day is done, and the darkness falls from the wings of night as a feather is wafted downward from an eagle in his flight. I see the lights of the village gleam through the rain and the mist, and a feeling of sadness comes o'er me that my soul cannot resist. A feeling of sadness and longing that is not akin to pain and resembles sorrow only as the mist resembles the rain. Come, read to me some poem, some simple and heartfelt lay that shall soothe this restless feeling and banish the thoughts of day. Not from the grand old masters, not from the bard sublime, whose distant footsteps echo through the corridors of time. For like strains of martial music, their mighty thoughts suggest life's endless toil and endeavor. And at night I long for rest. Read from some humbler poet whose songs gushed from his heart as showers from the clouds of summer are tears from the eyelids start. Who through long days of labor and nights devoid of ease still heard in his soul the music of wonderful melodies. Such songs have power to quiet the restless pulse of care and come like the benediction that follows after prayer. Then read from the treasured volume the poem of thy choice and lend to the rhyme of the poet the beauty of thy voice. And the night shall be filled with music and the cares that infest the day shall fold their tents like the herbs and as silently steal away. And music in particular, one's done that. It's like, oh, it's the greats, the most popular. It's like, but sometimes the best musicians are the ones they never sign, of course, they because they can't commercialize one aspect or the other. Either they're not drug addicts or are they're not pro some corporate cause. Like these people, I'm a nonconformist. You're super conformist. You know, that sort of thing. And this American Idol culture of um, you just got to be really, really good at doing other people's songs.